it has been in the past. We were just short a couple of years ago and then three years ago as well. Hopefully we can make some more progress this year and get it enacted into law. This really is about allowing just one other option on the menu for how kids can get their driver's permit. That's it. It's not a mandate on everyone, on anyone right now, as you know, in Minnesota, there are basically two options. A 15-year-old can take driver's ed at school, or he or she can take it at, at a private kind of dra driving academy. I took mine at AAA in St. Louis Park, for example, because so, I didn't want to you know, waste an elective in class on, on driver's ed, so that, that was my choice and my family's choice. This would just add a third element, which is a online course that has to be approved by the Department of Public Safety. So this isn't any fly-by-night operation. This would have to be approved by people whose job it is to make sure we minimize and reduce traffic deaths. So it would have to be approved by them. They're the gatekeepers. And all it says is that you have the option in Minnesota, as about a third of the states in the country, including some big ones like California and Texas, already have, mm -hmm. and simply gives kids and their families an option to have an online component. Again, screened and blessed by the Department of Public Safety, who isn't going to do it if it's some weirdo operation flying in from another state. It's got to meet certain specifications and it's got to be safe. And remember, <coughs> I say that um, you know the real backstop here is the test. No kid in Minnesota is going to get his or her driver's permit unless they pass that multiple choice test, which we all had to do. Uh, and so even if, theoretically, any driver's permit instruction is really, really bad and really, really shoddy, well, the backstop is the test. So that goes for any mode of, of instruction here, whether it's a really bad or shoddy classroom experience or really bad or shoddy private driving academy experience. Hopefully those are few and far between, but if that were to be the case and the kid just bah, didn't get the material, somehow it wasn't getting through to this kid, then he or she presumably would not pass that test. And keep in mind, this is only for the book learning. This is not for obviously behind the wheel. No one is asserting at all that you can substitute an online experience for behind the wheel. This is only the training for the multiple choice permit test, which you can take at age 15 in Minnesota. Um, when I had this bill before, I, and I couldn't find it uh, for this hearing, I used to pass out a prop, which was very interesting. Representative Houseman, I see, is here. She's been a great supporter of this bill. Um, and unfortunately, I couldn't locate it in time for the hearing. But you almost can't make this stuff up. In Minnesota, St. Cloud State University advertises a course where you can learn how to become an, a, a driving instructor. And that course is an online course. So at Minsky right now, we teach the people who are teaching the kids online, so that's somehow okay. And yet, up until now, we've resisted the idea that the kids themselves can learn online. And keep in mind, this is a choice for families to make. They need not take it. Um, and I think you're going to hear a lot of arguments, some sound, legitimate arguments. I may disagree, but they're legitimate arguments uh, about why this is a bad idea. All of those arguments, though, I would say, are great arguments for why a family or a kid would choose not to take the online option. They are not good arguments, in my opinion, for why that shouldn't be an option in the first place. So when you hear, as you will, all the reasons why online is, uh, is, is not the superior mode of, of teaching this stuff, keep in mind, those are great arguments for why Mr. and Mrs. Minnesota might choose not to send their kid to the online. You might want to say in your family or other families that, you know, I really want a real human being teaching uh, my kid uh, the difference between a white line and a yellow line. I'm not going to go in for this online business. And that's fine. Those are great arguments in that context, but not such great arguments for why they shouldn't even be on the menu. So I would just leave you with that, members. And um, thanks a lot to Representative Viskins, and I hope you'll give it um, some fair consideration.